Hey internet people, I thought I'd do a quick video. I've been trying to get Haiku on my Triple E PC. We just did a big, big review of Haiku in the latest computer action show, but if you don't know what Haiku is, it's it's a open source, re, re, breathing new life into uh, the old BIOS or BOS operating system that was really, really great back in the 90s, but died off. Um, but it's super fast, and I thought it'd make a great netbook OS, especially on a Triple E PC. Um, but it won't boot. Let me show you the error message I'm getting, because you guys out there might have written into this. Maybe you can give me some advice. The uh, the alternative that I'm going with is I'm loading the latest Ubuntu version 9.10, the current Alpha 6 netbook remix. So I'm going to show you that too. So you get even though even though you don't get to see the Haiku, you don't get to see Haiku running, you'll get to see the latest uh, Ubuntu remix. A couple of things I want to point out to you in that guy too. So it's not it's not all lost. It's not. All right, here let me uh, undock this thing here. Right, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Oh, there it is. Okay, so. Here's the error message that I'm getting, and I'm going to bring this in here. Maybe you guys might know what this does. It means. So it says, "Did not find any boot partitions. Welcome to kernel debugging land. Thread 12, main 2, running on CPU 0." And then it says "K debug," and that's as far as I get. Um, so I don't know, guys. If you guys have the answer to that. That would be awesome. Oh, and check out what I'm doing here. So, kind of a good reuse of an old piece of equipment you can't use anymore. But I got my Xbox 360 HD DVD drive. Not much use for that. So, uh, now that's my uh, EEE PC's um, external USB CD-ROM. Alright, so I thought I'd show you the boot-up process of the new uh, Ubuntu Netbook Remix. Because this is one of the things they've been working on. Is um, faster, more streamlined boot. So now we'll go through that process. <clears throat> go wait for it exciting times all right so one of the first things you're going to notice here is uh, you get a couple of Linux kernel messages and then the screen just goes blank for a while no uh, no quick little text no anything like that it actually seems it's almost like too long you almost wonder is your system booting because the screen's totally off I mean I've still got power life and stuff like that but then the next thing that comes up here is now I'm actually what seems to be in the next 11 environment. Uh, I even have like a mouse cursor that I can move around on the screen and they got this kind of cool transporter effect for the Ubuntu boot up uh, little animation. And what they're trying to accomplish here, and I, I think it works out pretty well, is this doesn't then like s switch out from some, some just regular VGA buffer, it goes right into X11. So you see that? There wasn't like a big switch and it, now I'm just in. And uh, here, let me switch on to uh, macro mode so it's a little clearer for you guys. Oh, that's already what I'm in. All right. So here is uh, the new netbook interface. You have this, they have this sidebar here, and then they have different categories. And the first thing they start out with is favorites. And you notice now they're putting Ubuntu 1 up and front and center. And then you can go down here, and they have uh, the different categories, and it has a nice little pleasant animation. Nothing too extreme. If you, you just hold the mouse over it, you don't even have to click. Um, and one of the things I really am digging about this, the new Netbook Remix, is uh, it's this obviously is formatted great for this type of screen. I mean, it fits really well on here. But uh, the icons really are, are coming together. They're looking good. The just throughout all of the different stuff here, the different like the look at the services icon there and the software sources icon, all that stuff just looks really, really sharp. They, uh, they've they really spent some time to, to polish this thing up. <clears throat> it's pretty snappy. All the stuff fits in here pretty well as far as different applications. They uh, So here's kind of like, an, you can see, this is just a, just as a, there's my hand. And then there's the, there's the interface. So, the new Ubuntu 9.0.10, or 9.10, the netbook remix is looking good. I, I had some troubles with the installer. I actually thought I had to uh, get a different ISO. I thought my ISO was bad or something like that. I just um, let it go for a while and it seems to be running fine. It, it, it gave me a bunch of errors that made me think it wasn't going to boot up during the first initial installation. Those seem to be gone now and uh, it runs good. One of the things I'm going to try out is they've just introduced that new uh, Ubuntu app store. And I'm going to kick the tires on that and maybe do a video about that if there's an interest. I wanted to ask you guys, too, if you're if you're interested, I could do a specific video post on this uh, Verizon MiFi that I got. And But I don't know. You know, there's a lot of posts of that online. But if you're interested in my take on the Verizon MiFi, I, I'm going to do just a quick segment in the next Computer Action Show. But I thought maybe people out there might want to know 
um, specifically more details so you could always post in the comments if you have any questions and if you if you want um, more more in-depth coverage on that device just let me know and if you have any questions about Ubuntu netbook remix or if you have a suggestion for my haiku problem I would love to hear it please hit me up either on your social network of choice identica I'm Chris LAS Twitter slash Chris LAS Facebook.com Chris LAS um, I'd really appreciate any haiku tips because I'd love to get haiku up on this thing. I think one of my problems is I think my SD card died. I can't get anything to partition this little SD card. I can't get um, memory card readers on Windows or the Mac to even mount it and under Ubuntu here I uh, can't format it. It starts and then works for a while and then it says the job failed because of some sort of issue and it's not very helpful but maybe you might have a tip on that too. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the quick video. I just thought, uh, pretty impressed with Ubuntu Netbook Remix. It's really making, there's, between this, Jolly Cloud, which is based on Ubuntu Netbook Remix, Android, uh, the Android Netbook OS coming out in the future, you got Haiku, it's a good time to be a Netbook owner. So if you've thought about playing with Netbook OSs, this is some fun stuff. This is, this is kind of like early on pioneering in this desktop space, and it's kind of, the rules are different here in netbook land, so uh, it's interesting to see what the different Linux desktop makers are bringing to this in, this market. I think Ubuntu's got one of the best interfaces out there right now for a netbook. It's very clean and very functional.